SolidWorks Visualize is already a class-leading tool to get poster quality imagery and animation. And now, thanks to artificial intelligence from NVIDIA, that process is dramatically faster using the new Denoiser tool. Visualize uses machine learning to anticipate and eliminate noise in the scene, the small areas that used to take ages to resolve. What does this mean for you? Well, you can expect the same high quality results around 10 times faster. Yes, 10 times faster. Check out these other images using the new Denoiser. 10 times faster, my friends. This is the new integrated physics engine inside of Visualize Pro 2019. And this helps you create those very natural touches to your images and scenes much, much faster. So here I'm selecting the simulation type for the objects. Mesh is best because it uses the actual geometry of the object instead of just the overall bounding box. And then I can go ahead and group, uh, multi-select those cups, move them all over to the sink. And since I already set their physics state, I just go down to the animation timeline in the bottom of the screen there and hit play. And there you go. You can see the cups fall with natural gravity and they rest on one another and get to that ideal resting place without me having to manually move them and eyeball them to intersect. I can just hit render and go from there. The great thing is, is I can also record that animation of the cups falling as well. This next new feature in Visualize Pro 2019 is so awesome. I want to put a music soundtrack behind it as I explain what this new feature is. And this is the new integrated vehicle driving simulator in Visualize Pro 2019. You can create some really awesome eye-catching footage, both images and animations with this new feature. Simply go to physics and change your simulation type to car and new, use this new handy wizard to help build your car and make it drivable. You can choose from a, a variety of driving behaviors, which I'll go through. Press play in the simulation manager. Choose some cool settings like wheel friction and check this out. Pretty cool to make your car do donuts, right? You can change a variety of physics settings or just choose based off of your car type like sports car or SUV as you saw. You can choose suspension, ride height, wheel friction, wheel turn angle, all of that. And you can even control your car with just your keyboard or simply plug in your controller like an Xbox controller. But the big benefit is being able to use this new wheel turn slider too to line up amazing shots like this. You can also use the driving behavior of path and use the white waypoints like you see there to control where your car drives. You can move the waypoints and the integrated driving simulator will automatically know to follow those new waypoints exactly where they're set. All the examples you've seen so far have been in our preview mode. Now let's check out some fully rendered ray traced examples of awesome driving footage. Enough with the soundtrack. Also new in Visualize Pro 2019 are video decals. This really helps bring your objects that have LCD or LED screens to life by playing back either a video on a computer screen or some sort of animation sequence on an LCD display on an electronic device. In this example here, you saw that I also had a very simple camera pan across the, the product as well. New and Visualize 2019 Standard and Pro are enhanced material support of NVIDIA MDLs and also the new standard called PBR, which stands for Physically Based Rendering. This first one is an MDL example where I went to NVIDIA's website, downloaded the vMaterials library, and simply dragged in this cracked cupped MDL, which had several different color options. And I can simply drag and drop that onto my Visualize project. And probably the biggest benefit of this new MDL support in Visualize 
is being able to support your already pre-existing design library or visualization library, maybe created in another CAD package, but now Visualize has that direct support, so there's no further rework. The next one is PBR materials, and I'm going to show you how to create this from scratch. Switch from the regular standard appearance type to PBR material. You have two different workflows that you saw there, metallic or glossy. And all I have to do is select the first texture map and Visualize automatically finds the other texture maps within that same folder and pre-populates my texture banks for me. So color, specular, glossiness, alpha, and bump are automatically pre-populated just by me selecting the first color map. I dragged it onto my scene, onto the, uh, the top of the cupboard there. Just change the texture mapping mode from UV to planar, and I can use the new set to world scale tool. And there you go. Now I have a physically based rendering material right there in my Visualize project. You can easily find those new PBR materials by searching online on websites, such as Polygon, P-O-L-I-I-G-O-N.com. So now Visualize 2019 Standard & Pro supports both the MDL and the new PBR texture maps, giving you greater flexibility with your visualization pipeline. There are also several other improvements worth noting in Visualize 2019 Standard and Pro. The first one is automatic data recovery. So should Visualize crash, we would have automatically saved a backup of your project. You can actually set how long the interval is in between these automatic saves within the tools options and the new tab auto recovery. By default, it's set to five minutes, but you can change that to however long you want. And uh, even if you set it to five minutes, keep it at the default, you don't see any disruption when you're actually using and working Visualize. This save actually happens on the back end. And as soon as you open up Visualize the next time, you see the prompt at the bottom there that says if you'd like to open the project or just save the project as a new file type and open up a different project. We also have custom hotkeys and keyboard shortcuts. This is something that you, our users, have asked us for and we wanted to deliver. Now you can choose your own custom shortcuts and you can actually export them as a new file type to then be consumed on another visualized machine um, to keep your keyboard presets the same. We also made several improvements to the model tree. This includes being able to easily toggle the visibility of parts, models, and groups. You can easily drag and drop parts and models and groups within your model tree to reorganize and also group them easier. There's also an integrated search bar at the top, so you can easily search for the exact part you're looking for. By the way, that search bar also exists in all the other uh, tabs as well, like appearances, environments, and cameras. But the biggest enhancement here is now, yes, now, finally, you can copy and paste parts and groups. This was not supported before, uh, and you have to go back to your CAD package to do that. But now it's very easy and visualized to just copy and paste that blue cup there rather than going back to your CAD package. We also really improved the decal support in Visualize 2019. Now we fully support all decal types coming from SOLIDWORKS CAD. So that's amazing. And here on this video, you can see that we have this cylindrical mapping from SOLIDWORKS CAD. And we have all different types of mapping controls for you to easily place this and rotate your decal on your part there. There's plenty of other new controls with decals as well with the mapping types and also fit to part, like fit width and fit height and other very helpful controls allowing you to place your decals with mathematical precision. So that's the Visualize 2019 release in a nutshell. There are hundreds of other bugs that were squashed. These are the most important features we wanted to communicate to you all. So we really hope you enjoy this 2019 release of Visualize focused on helping you get your projects done faster.